Hello and welcome to a new video. Now I didn't properly end the last one. I just sort of got here and was so fucking tired I just went to sleep. But I thought I'd make this into a video of its own as I am now in Arawara for my surf cam. And I'll be here for the next 10 days. Just like surfing, hanging out, doing fun shit. And I'm so excited. It is currently, let's see, nine o'clock in the morning. I've had my breakfast and then we had like a little meet and greet at 8.30 got to meet like some of the crew, got a little walk around of the camp and yeah some information basically just got checked in and stuff like that as well and in an hour I'll be taking my first surfing lesson, that's so exciting so I've just like switched into my bathing suit and done like sunscreen all over my body and my face and everything and yeah just thought I'd intro the video here, I don't know how much I'm gonna film today I will try and bring my GoPro onto like the actual surfboard once I get a little better. So I'm gonna try and do that later on, but not today obviously. I'm gonna be here for a while, so I got time. But I thought I'd just show you my room. I am in a four bed dorm, so that is my bed. We have another one there and two over there. And a fan. It is fucking warm here in Arawara. So I left like Melbourne and the 15 degrees and swapped it for... 25 degrees and it will be 28 by the end of the day so quite a difference i'm just so excited to be here it's gonna be so much fun but yeah just like i said wanted to enter the video hi i'm here i'm alive i'll talk more about the camp when i know more about the camp I found myself a random dog and spent the rest of the day just chilling at the campsite. The following days we had some more surf lessons and on one of the afternoons I went on the organized kangaroo walk with a few other people since that was one of the afternoon activities offered at the camp and this is where I got to see my very first kangaroo here in Australia. I also spent some more time chilling in a hammock enjoyed a lovely sunset at the beach and sat by the fireplace just stargazing for like a solid three hours it is officially day four here in surf paradise or like actual paradise i have been pretty bad at updating so i'm sorry about that also been pretty bad at filming but i will try to get better but yeah right now it is like 8 30 i have my next or my first like morning surf session at nine but before that me and this girl named flora that i've been spending a lot of time with here at camp we're just gonna do like a morning yoga session together we just have breakfast and yeah and i'm just getting ready putting sunscreen all over my face we've been surfing for the past three days and i am pleasantly surprised by how well it's gone as well as like pleasantly surprised by how much fun it's been like it's so much fun i am like aching all over my body is totally destroyed but i'm just having the best time of my life and i just love it i am however gonna switch rooms today because my bed is horrible and i'm gonna stay here for another week so like i need sleep but like i said just going for a morning yoga session and then we're gonna go surfing I'm excited. I am very, very tired. I'm very, very sore and bruised, but it's still so much fun and I just love it here. So yeah. Got the white knuckles holding on a tie 
later the time is 11 30 and i've just gotten done with my morning session uh, which started at nine and went for like an hour and a half maybe no two hours actually i think it's two hours yeah two hours then i just hopped into the shower and got rid of like all the salt and sand from my body switched into a new bikini some shorts and yeah it went pretty good today actually we're doing green waves now so it is my one, two, three, fourth day. Yeah, it's my fourth day of surfing. And we're doing green waves and it's so much fun. I actually switched to a smaller board today, which is like a bit more difficult for balancing, but it's easier to actually maneuver the board. And I really like that one. So I think I'm sticking with that one for like the rest of my sessions. But yeah, the first wave I attempted to catch, I caught and it felt fucking amazing. Then I got a few more good ones and one like, really good one so i'm really happy with that then i got some bad ones some nose dives some yeah a little all over the place but yeah it's just so much fun it's, but i'm also very very tired it is my fourth day of surfing and this is my seventh time being out in the water surfing so yeah i'm pretty exhausted and i do have the option to go for an afternoon session as well i've done that the other days but i think i'm gonna skip today actually and just like rest for a bit because like i said i've been going pretty hard these past three days so I'm tired. <laughs> My body's tired. I am bruised all over. So yeah, some rest would be nice. I thought I'd give you a little tour. A <laughs> trauma tour, I was gonna call it. No, I don't know. Just like showing you my injuries and what the state of my body is like right now, pretty much. So we can start off with my hands. They are like completely blistered. Like by my thumb and my fingers and everything. The other one is a little bit better, but still pretty shit. I got bruises. I got a huge fucking bruise. So yesterday I like, got my fin, the fin of the board, kind of smashed my leg. So that's what we got there. Actually yesterday morning or the day before that, a girl actually went to the hospital because she also got a fin into her leg, but that like, sliced through her entire leg. So not entire leg, but it like cut pretty deep into her leg. So she had to go to the hospital and like go into surgery and stuff. So I'm happy I just got a bruise and nothing serious. That would suck, but yeah. It hurts pretty bad and it looks pretty terrible. Uh, other than that, uh, this leg, no, I got like a bruise there as well and some rash here. <laughs> Next leg, we got bruises. We got like a rash all over my thigh. My knee is also completely just smashed <laughs> there as well. So yeah, good times. And like my upper body is also just bruised, but I love it here. I wrote this in my diary the other day that I think this is like the one time in my life that I have been in the most physical pain ever, but also the happiest. Like everything has, oh, by the way, like day two or something, I got like really bad blisters underneath my big toes. So like on both my feet and then they popped and now it just, it's just hell walking, like even walking hurts. <laughs> so yeah, everything's painful. Everything hurts, but I'm just so happy and I'm like, baffled by the fact that you can be in this much pain and still be this happy, this excited, just loving life, because that's what I'm doing right now. So the guy I was supposed to meet to get the bed thing sorted just came into my room actually and told me that I can switch from this bed to one of those beds. So I don't actually have to move rooms, which is perfect. I did just pack my entire bag, or try to do so at least. But yeah, so I'm just gonna walk across the room and I have a new bed and it's a bottom bunk and I can't feel the springs in my back. So it is lovely. It is perfect actually. So yeah, it worked out. So happy about that. Oh, I'm so excited to sleep tonight in a bottom bunk. 
with a decent mattress. Can it get better? I don't think so. <sighs> Life's good. All right, now I just gotta get all my shit from over there because I just laid everything up on my bed. And basically just trying to organize it a bit, I think. Because yeah, I'm gonna be here for a week. I might hang up my clothing line as well, actually. Get some things to just like air out because I have been wearing it and then just like chucking it in a corner with the rest of my stuff and it's kind of gross. I might do that. I'll see you guys later. Do you see this fucking turkey? Or whatever it is. Just sneaking around. Anyways, there's no one here pretty much right now, so I just thought I'd show you around camp. It's really nice. This is like the common area and some people are sleeping in teepees. This is where we had our first couple of meals, but now it's moved over to a bigger spot, I guess. Yeah, we're right by a little lake. And right over there is the ocean. So this is where we sat last night and just like stargazing. It was so good. Yeah. Let's camp. So I just brought my journal with me. I think I'm gonna set myself up somewhere nice and shady and write for a bit. Maybe on the surfboards actually. It's not that shady, but I don't mind getting a little bit of sun. So I'm gonna do that. Another one of the afternoon activities was kayaking in the lake right next to the camp. So I decided to join that this afternoon. surfing. I've done my morning session. It was from 9 until 11. Before that me and Flo went and did some morning yoga just like yesterday and it was great. Surfing went good. I am very tired but I got two really good waves so I'm happy about that. I have about 30 minutes now before my next session and yeah it is optional but I think I'm gonna do it. I know I'm gonna do it. I might not like go super hard but I want to get out there again, maybe catch some waves. So I'm just gonna go back to my room and chill for a bit. <clears throat> it's right over there. So just like a 20 minute chill and then get to the beach again. What's up? I am back in my apartment, I was gonna say. It's not an apartment, it's a room. I'm back in my room. It is three o'clock and I've just had my second session of the day. I didn't stay for all of it. It is like an hour and a half. I think I stayed like half an hour and then I just came back because I'm absolutely fucking smashed. I probably could have done without this session, but I thought, you know what, I'll just go and try it out and if I feel like I'm too tired, I'll just get out of the water. So yeah, I basically just went into it with very little pressure on myself, I guess. I did skip the afternoon session yesterday and this morning felt pretty good. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll go for the afternoon session and see what happens. And yeah, I got like half a good wave, I guess. But the conditions were really different this afternoon compared to this morning and yeah, there was some really high waves and they just kept crashing and crashing and crashing. And at some point the instructors, they basically just called us all into the beach and wanted us to like move to a different side of the beach because the conditions had changed where we were initially surfing. And at that point I was just like feeling done with it, I guess. So yeah, I went back to the camp basically, took a shower, actually shampooed my hair for the first time in 
god knows how long like i showed before my hands are pretty much fucking ruined so showering and like just touching my hair and everything that hurts like a lot so these past couple of days i've pretty much just been like rinsing my hair and my body just like getting all the salt and the sand off of me but today i actually took like a proper shower with shower gel and shampoo and everything so i'm feeling fresh no i'm feeling fucking exhausted <laughs> So the first couple of days we pretty much just stayed like in the whitewash and catching like easy waves and like learning the techniques and stuff But as we progressed we obviously have started like going further out into the ocean catching like bigger waves and stuff and Once you like really have to go out into the actual ocean You also start paddling a lot more. So the first couple of days was pretty easy like on the shoulders on the back and everything and we were all surprised like talking about oh this is so much easier on the shoulders than we had initially thought we thought it was going to be so much work and now like a couple of days in we're like well duh it's because we weren't like out in the actual water we're just like on shore or close to the shore at least so yeah it's a lot more paddling now and it's a lot more taxing on the shoulders especially when there are like waves coming straight at you and you have to either go over them or go under them but it's so much fun it's ah it's a lot of fun i really just love it and yeah this is my fifth day of surfing and i have five more days of surfing that is crazy a lot of people are actually leaving today they came the same day as me but most people are only doing like five or three days actually and i'm doing 11 or yeah, 10. I mean, the first day didn't really count. I arrived super late and pretty much just went straight to bed, so I didn't even surf that day. So I have 10 surfing days and this is my fifth. So I'm just halfway there and that's insane. I'm really hoping that I keep progressing because right now I feel like I am catching some good waves, but it is also very difficult and I'm also very tired. But yeah, it's three o'clock right now. Dinner is at 6.30. So I have a good three and a half hours until then. Oh, that's awesome. I might go to the merch shop and get my merch. Because here's the thing. I went on this 11 day, 10 night trip. And with that comes obviously like surf lessons every day. And also a few expression sessions. And that's basically the afternoon session. So they do offer expression sessions every single day. So in theory, you could go surfing twice a day. Although the first session, which is more of like a lesson, you do have an instructor and they are going over a few things in the beginning of the session. And yeah, he or she is basically just out in the water and helping us throughout the entire session. And now with the afternoon sessions, so the expression sessions, it's more of a you go out there and you try out what you've learned that morning or the previous days. So there are obviously instructors out with us, but they are more of like lifeguards instead of actual teachers. So they're just there to make sure we're being safe. So with the initial package, I had like a lesson every day and then a few expression sessions but once we got here they told us that we could get like an additional kind of package which included all the expression sessions so that you could go serving twice every day as well as some afternoon activities so you get that and also some merch so they have a merch shop and you can go there and pick out like a t-shirt and a tote bag or a t-shirt and a cap so i still have to do that before i leave but obviously i'm gonna be here for a couple more days so i don't have to do that today but i might just head over there and see what they got and see if i find something that i want i'm gonna stop rambling i'll see you guys when i see you guys goodbye for now not gonna be having this room for myself tonight a little disappointed but that's all right i wasn't really expecting to have it for myself but it would have been amazing but yeah that is what it is i guess there were a few or like actually a lot of people arriving today so i guess some of them moved in here and some unlucky bastard got my old bed so i'll just be oh that was dark i'll just be praying for their survival and their sleep for the next couple of days
and hopefully they're not staying for that long because that would be horrible but yeah uh, we just had dinner it was burgers and it was so good i was so excited when i saw burgers i thought it was going to be like pasta and stuff but it was burgers so i'm all happy me and flo had a drink <laughs> I'm gonna say it in, in Swedish. We can do it in both. The Hamifest. The Hamifest link. The Hamifest link. The link. Okay. Oh, is it already going? Oh. No. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Cut. The Hamifest link. <laughs> and now we're gonna make a second drink and take a walk on the beach. And it's gonna be a lovely beach walk. Because this beach is so fucking beautiful. And there might be a little sunset action, I'm not sure, but we'll see, I guess. So yeah, that's it for now. Okay, okay, okay. This, This is my second drink. Prost! And we're at the beach. Hi. <laughs> Do you want to introduce yourself to my vlog? Uh, hey, hey. You're here to the floor. Uh, Ja är Hollands. <laughs> I do most of my filming in English, so okay. you can speak English if you want. Hi followers, thanks for following me. I'm Flo. <laughs> I have no followers though, so it's just me. Yeah, it's yeah. you. This is Flo. She's awesome. <laughs> And like a pro surfer, so... Um, same as you, dude. Apparently. Hey. Cheers. We're double. Prost. We're both. Prost. Prost. <laughs> Prost. No, it's O. Prost. Prost. Yeah, Prost. that's it. That's it. Prost. Life is epic. It is. Het leven is een feestje, maar je moet zelf de slingers ophangen. Which means... What she said. Life is a party. But you have to decorate it yourself. Oh, I like that. That's a good one. Right? I like that. Yeah, it's Shit. really nice. I'm gonna steal that. Cool. All right. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Prost. Prost. <laughs> Prost. But then we can't even see it. Then, yeah, but maybe. then we no. should do it in English, right? Yeah. <laughs> should we? Yeah. This, This is our third, third drink. Third drink. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. It is 11 o'clock, and I'm heading to bed. So me and Flo, we took a walk on the beach and listened to a bunch of music and then we kind of assembled a little party crew uh, went to this other location at camp where there was like a campfire and music and stuff and we just like gathered all the people we could find and she was like, come over here and we'll have a party and we did and I played some pool and some beer pong and now I'm going to bed because we have surfing at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning so I'll have breakfast at 7 and I'll sleep so that's it for today yeah good night it is the 17th of December uh, the clock is 7 a.m. it is my sixth day of surfing and I start in an hour absolutely destroyed so fucking tired well, let's go get some breakfast day of surf camp <laughs> reality check this is what you look like after you've been surfing it's not that glamorous i mean it's awesome but it doesn't look pretty <laughs> not the aftermath the surfing was fucking amazing though i went out into the back and did like some green waves and it felt so much better today holy fuck like yesterday i went out there as well i caught like one good green wave but then i just kept nose diving and nose diving and nose diving and I just didn't have the energy to actually like do it properly, so I just kept fucking up. But today, I went out there as well, like in the beginning of the session, straight away. I caught a really good wave with like the help of the instructor. He like kind of pushed my board a bit, so I got a bit more speed. That really helped. I just puffed off on my board and rode the wave all the way to the fucking shore. Ah, oh, it was so good. Then I got out there again, and like I have never paddled this hard in my fucking life. When they say paddle for your life, This is what they mean. I have not been doing that like these previous days. I've just not had the energy to do it. But today felt so fucking good. 
So after I got that one wave with the help of the instructor, I got back out there again. And like getting back out is probably the hardest part because waves just keep crashing into you and you have to go either over them or under them depending on how the wave is forming and if it's broken or not. But yeah, I just got out there again and when a good wave came, I just paddled for my fucking life and I caught a few ones on my own. I'm so happy. Like I actually paddled enough to be able to like get enough speed to actually be able to move with the wave. So that was so cool. But yeah, I look like a fucking mess right now. Um, just hair everywhere because like at the end of the session obviously I was too fucking tired so I couldn't get out the back I just couldn't the waves were crazy and I just couldn't get through them did not have the energy to do so I got like pummeled by a few waves and just ate so much shit <laughs> I have like salt water in my lungs it feels like I don't even know man but yeah it was so much fun and this is day six I have four more days of surfing which means four more lessons if I want to, I can do the expression sessions on the afternoons as well. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm so fucking tired. Like, I couldn't even get out the back. So yeah, I'm taking a shower. I'm gonna chill for the rest of the day. Hang out with Flo, probably. Eat some good lunch, just chill. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I'm happy. This is so good. I love surf camp. This is the best thing I've ever done, probably. But yeah, shower time. Just want to give you guys, like, a reality check and an update. <laughs> but yeah, shit. All right, shower, see ya. Hey, <laughs> it's a while later. It's like half past three right now. I took a nap. It was a weird nap, but I did sleep for a bit. I did go to Woolies um, yesterday. Yeah, I went yesterday and got the sunblock. I'll just show you guys. So this is my little corner. This is the sunblock I got, which is better than sunscreen because it has zinc in it. Zinc, zinc, which apparently like really actually blocks the sun. It's more protective than regular sunscreen and it stays on better. So that's usually what surfers like use on their face. So I just put it on my nose and my cheeks and I actually also put it like on my forehead because that my forehead has gotten a lot of sun. So that's really good. It is a bit expensive, but I think it'll last for a long time and it's obviously better than regular sunscreen. Then I also bought, let's do a snack haul. Bear with me here. I got some chips. These are barbecue flavor chips. They're not the greatest. I bought a thing of Oreos. I've eaten like half of them. These are like chips, I guess, but they look cold, so I got them. I was also in a mood for popcorn, so I bought these ones, which are sweet and buttery. Is that it? I also got some Sour Patch Kids. In case I wanted like candy. And that's my snack haul. That's what I got at surf camp. That is so like unnecessary information, but you're welcome. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna stop. All right, see you guys when I see you guys. Oh, and one last thing. I just thought I'd show you guys the shirt I got from the merch shop yesterday. So it's a black tee. I got it in an extra large, so it'll be like oversized. It has a little pocket here in the front with a little print and it has the same print on the back and yeah looks like this and that's it now i'll see you guys later seven of surf camp it is 6 a.m i'm on my way to breakfast i'm surfing at seven today i didn't go to bed until like 11 maybe 12 last night so didn't get a bunch of sleep but we're still gonna show up yesterday after dinner i sat down with my new roommates and a couple of new people played some cards there then was like kind of a party so i went for a second but it wasn't my vibe and i kind of just started like missing our old friends so there was a bunch of people left yesterday and 
I don't know, I kind of just started missing them, so I left the party and went back to, like, where I live, and my new roommates were just, like, sitting and talking and shit, so I sat down with them for a bit and just hung out, and it was great, but yeah, a little tired today, but we're gonna do the best we can, but now it's breakfast, and then it's surfing. seven of surfing i have three more days left and i'm so fucking excited today we had the session at 7 a.m like i said before we went straight out to the green waves and so this time we actually used one of the rips to get out there and it was so much easier than it has been these past few days because we've just been getting like crashed by the waves and just going against them going against them but today we used a rip and we just got out there super smoothly sat for a bit it was a bit chilly but obviously the sun hadn't like come up all the way so yeah as the sun got like higher and higher it got more warm but it was a bit cold this morning like to begin with um, i love the look but yeah we went out to the green waves straight away me and a couple of others because we've been here for longer so they kind of divided the group up depending on how long we've been here since we've been here for a while we got to do the green waves and the ones who were just like on day two they stayed in the whitewash so yeah we sat out there and waited for some good waves the instructor reese was there to like kind of help us with them and push us and stuff but i didn't get pushed once and i caught three green waves I'm so happy about that and actually so fucking proud. So yeah, when I saw a wave, I just paddled for my fucking life and like I got the timing right and everything and I just rode that fucking wave. And then I did it two more times. Like, ugh, today was so fucking good. Shit. And like my second wave, I probably wasn't supposed to get that one because it was quite a difficult one. So I was like getting in position, I saw a wave coming, but it was getting really, really big once it like reached me and I could see that it had started to break. So I was like, all right, if I go down this wave, I'm gonna fucking nose dive and die. So I did a turtle roll, got under the wave, it crashed. I could still feel it, but obviously I didn't like get sucked into it. Got up on my board again, saw a wave behind me. I was like, okay, that one I'm gonna get. So I just howled for my fucking life, caught the wave and rode it and oh, it was so good. And yeah, this makes no sense if you have never surfed before, but I'm just gonna say it anyways. I had to like fight my way back out again to get like to the green waves. And yeah, once I got there, Reese was like, that was so good. That was a hard wave. You probably shouldn't have caught it, but you did. So you timed that really well. And I was like, yes, <laughs> fuck yeah. So happy about that. And yeah, then I went out there again, waited for a while, waited for quite some time actually, because obviously there are waves and then they kind of stop and then there's waves again. So yeah, I got out there, I sat for a while and just waited for waves. We had about 20 minutes left of the session. So I was like, all right, if I catch another good wave, that's gonna be my last one. I'm not gonna go out again because yeah, it takes a shit ton of energy to get out there. So I waited for a while, I caught a green wave pretty much all the way into the whitewash and like where the other, like the beginners were surfing as well. So I just caught it, rolled my way back to shore and hopped off. And I was like, all right, I feel done. And I don't feel dead, so that's that's great. We do have an afternoon session today as well at 1.30. So the past two days, I haven't gone for the afternoon sessions because I've just been so fucking tired. But today, since the morning session was at 7, I'm done now and it's just like 9. So I have, I have like four and a half hours until the next session. And since I chose to stop after the third wave, like after the third good wave, and not go out there again and like use up all of my energy, I think I'll be good for another session this afternoon and I'm so excited about it! I hope the conditions are good though. But yeah. So it's nine right now. I'm gonna take a shower. Lunch is at 12.30, so I'm probably just gonna chill until then. I'm happy. And this is day seven, so I have three more, that's four, three more days left. It would be kind of cool if I could go like on a hardboard, but I'm not sure I will be able to do that before my time here is off. I would love to get some actual footage of this, but yeah, on the softboards, I obviously can't like mount my GoPro on it. So that's a bit difficult, but yeah, we'll see. That's it for now. I'm gonna hop in the shower. And I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. 